Hey, peace, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm going to be pulling from the, the Lima Leonarman deck, you guys. Okay, so bear with me because I don't really know this deck as much, but I'm going to make it do what it do. Okay, now my name is Ayoka. For those of you who are new to my channel, don't forget to flip the rolls, take only what you need and leave the rest. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. I encourage you to hit the like button, fools, okay? Go over to my YouTube, subscribe if you're feeling my vibe. If you're watching from my YouTube, subscribe, all right? Now, y'all, I've already set my intentions for the day, so I thank you for my true guides showing out and showing up. Now, this card, y'all, it looks like it has all of the zodiac signs on it. It's like the universe or something. 16 is the number on this card. Um, hmm, definitely got to pull definitely got to look at the book for that one i've never pulled that card before in this deck <clears throat> it says stars <laughs> it's the stars literally so what we got going on here make sure that ain't my food y'all so basically it says a chart displaying the 12 signs of the zodiac appear on the background of stars. This card is typically used as an all-purpose positive good vibes card. So it's celestial navigation in the universe, okay? All right, so this is a positive card. This is representing the universe. Let's see what else we got next. A house. The house card keeps coming out in the Kipper deck too as well. So check out my other readings I've done today. It's all probably come together for you. In the heart, boom. All right, so we know that's around love. Okay. Your person could have an initials of K or J. All right, I'm just throwing it out there. It doesn't have to be. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Mm -mm. I'm pulling tarot. I'm going straight to tarot. Tell me about the universe card. for the universe card page of swords okay so some patience is needed right now but i feel like whatever the idea is that you may have um okay you could be curious about manifesting this idea here right now page of swords or communicating it i, I definitely feel like it's some communication that's going to come through here whatever was delayed it's coming through. Tell me about this. What's the lead? Three of Cups comes out, right? Some type of celebration, some type of reunion, a party, whatever it is, a wedding, an engagement, a friendship. It could have been a delay in uh, or ending of a friendship is what I just heard. Or um, somebody has been delaying to communicate some things to you with you and it feels like the universe is like literally aligning yep four cups in the reverse bringing some type of awareness here to whoever you're connected to okay well this could be awareness coming to you so flip your roles tell me more about this page of swords yeah justice ah the universe is bringing justice to a situation okay where there was an imbalance the scales are beginning to balance out okay so i want to pull something here from another deck Oop. sorry y'all mina i know it's hitting the table kind of hard but tell me about this universe card Oop. bouquet okay so somebody may be trying to gift you something no the universe Woo. The universe is trying to give you something. I know me and my sound effects because it's like, woo, as a, <laughs> as the downloads are coming, it's like, oh, okay. All right. Because there was an injustice here, and I feel like you faced your shadows about something. It was something here that you you, you took your power back um, and you made a decision here for yourself. It's like you recognize how sovereign you were. You took your power back. 
And it's like when you took your power back, it's almost like a war cry is what I'm hearing. And it's like it woke heaven up almost. It's like one of those things where you was just like, no, this is an injustice. You know what I'm saying? This is not going to, it's not going this way. The fish cart comes out. And so this is why now the abundance is getting ready to rain down on you. Because it was you all along, right? Because we're the co-creators to the universe, okay? So you had to do your part, is what I'm hearing. Look, and it got this man attention, okay? So whoever this man is, yeah. Whatever you did, all right? Or whatever somebody did to you, it got your attention. Tell me about the house card. Definitely seeing um, some cycles closing out. Somebody may be looking ahead, like long term for the future now. Look at that, the ring. Huh. House card, foundation, same thing, right? In the sun. So there's going to be some positive changes. And what I'm seeing here with that ring energy, something's coming full circle. This could be something with a, a commitment. It could be long term. It could be marriage. Whatever it is, this is like marking the time of a new beginning is what I'm seeing. All right, y'all. So what time we got? Okay. I got to stay on task, y'all. <laughs> Tell me about the ring. This person, this, this man, okay, they definitely... I feel like they may watch you if you are the feminine of my collective. It's like what they're looking for, looking at now. Look at that. Justice in the four of wands. You could, this could be a divine counterpart. Four of wands usually could be a twin flame card. Same energy with the justice card right here. Boom. Let me tell you, it's a decision here. Um, Karma definitely was at play here, okay? Uh, I definitely feel like y'all had to go through some type of cycle, 701 on a timer. And whatever that cycle was that y'all went through, it created a lot of upheavals, but it was divinely ordered because, again, it was an injustice that was done. So karma, karma has to be paid, right? The karmic debt has to be paid. Whatever it was done here, it was unfair. Somebody could have been doing some stuff that was hidden, you understand, not really showing, you know, being dishonest, whatever it is. But now it's like I said, it's like because someone took and stood in their power, okay, and decided, you know, this is an injustice for me. I can't, I'm not, it goes against my integrity, basically. Okay, and this seems like this is what the universe wanted or the divine, however it resonates for you, um, to do it, to call, to call a justice on this, right? The truth on this. And it really, it was about the life lessons. It was a lesson that you need to learn. They wanted you to, to do it because your person here, this man coming in, Knight of Wands Reverse, definitely um, in that uh, Playboy energy, non-committal, in and out. Okay, the Knight of Wands Reverse, I'm telling you, yeah, they like to have fun. They like the options, boo. Okay, <laughs> so I will know. Okay, so whatever's happening, you finally, uh, you finally, uh, took your power back. That's how I'm hearing. It's like because of their behavior, all right, it's what I just heard was like, nah, you were the karma, okay? You were their karma. Their karma that woke them up. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles comes out again. Something that you were not doing you were ignoring your intuition um when it came to making this decision and you got the clarity and the truth that you needed to do it and this is what caused a total shift in the universe is but it's in your favor tell me about the heart card Yep, anchor in the garden. So whatever's going on now, like you're now anchored in this dream, this reality that you are again trying to manifest here. Um, you work for this, man. You work for this is what I'm seeing. It's like you did a lot of self work, is what I'm hearing, right? And now you're at this point where you complete, where you reach completion. I feel like what I'm hearing is like mission complete. Now celebrate. 
The anchor card signifies jobs, marriages, and, and other long-term commitments that come with heavy responsibilities. And that's what it's been. But guess what? Now it's time for you to celebrate, boo. 